You wanted to see me? I did. Come and sit down. I wanted to talk to you about the project review meeting yesterday afternoon. I spoke with one of your peers and they were a little concerned. Said they noticed you on your phone and not really engaged in the meeting. They saw you rolling your eyes a couple times. Well, I wanted to find out what was going on with you. What? Well, who told you that? Was it Carl? I know it was Carl. He's always trying to undermine our group. We need to meet with him and his manager. You know, I've had enough. Actually, it wasn't Carl. It was James. James? But he's my friend. And he was concerned. So, I really would like to talk about your experience. Can you tell me what happened? What about Carl? I mean, we still need to deal with that. I mean, I'm so fed up. We can talk about that another time. What I want to discuss now is your, your behavior in this meeting. Can we agree to do that? So tell me about the meeting. <laughs> yeah, that is such a poorly run meeting. It's a huge waste of time. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have rolled my eyes. And I was just trying to keep on top of, of, of the work on my phone. Okay, I understand that you have a lot of other work to do, but let's think about this from a different perspective. If you were running a meeting and you noticed that someone was constantly on your phone, how would that feel? That's frustrating. And what happens to the productivity of the meeting? Yeah, it's, it's not great. Okay, so tell me as a project manager what the expectation is for your behavior in meetings like this? Well, uh, we're supposed to fully participate, uh, bring in all the, all the information to update our group on our portion of the project, uh, ask questions to understand, and treat each other with respect, how I would like to be treated. That's a good summary. As a project lead, I expect for you to be fully engaged contributing, providing status, and be fully fully engaged in the meetings. You're a well-respected person around here. There's a reason that I put you on this project. Yeah, I know. I need to get back in the game. Can we agree that you missed the mark yesterday? You're right. Okay. I did. Okay. So let's talk about how we can do better going forward. So what's the issue? This project is just poorly run. Charles has no idea what he's doing. It's really aggravating. So, what I hear you saying is that you're frustrated with how the meeting is run. And do you think that putting together a plan for improving the meeting is a more beneficial next step? I suppose so, but isn't that Charles's job? I think you have a unique perspective on how to deal with this. I mean, we all have a role in improving how we work together. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about what's so frustrating about the meetings? Well, there's two things. First, it's just poorly run. Charles sends out the agenda only a few hours before the meeting, if, if at all. Second, there's no one tracking the, the suggestions or issues. So nothing gets done outside of the meeting. If Charles was doing his job, it wouldn't be such a waste of time. So what I'm hearing from you is that you need an agenda, a clear agenda, so that you can prepare for the meetings and to make sure that issues and suggestions are actively tracked. Is that correct? How do we do this? Well, I could do it. At least, <laughs> I know it'd be done right. But isn't it his job since he's the meeting chair? Isn't this Charles's first time as a project lead? 
Do you remember what your first time bleeding was like? Well, uh, that was a long time ago. I remember I had a mentor who <clears throat> helped me ensure that I wasn't missing anything. I did learn a lot from her. So, on your first time bleeding, you had help from others to get things done correctly. Is that accurate? No. I guess I can offer the help. Okay. Well, I could show him the agenda template uh, that I use. Okay. What else? Uh, well, I could give him some input on how to engage people and, and capture it. Now, I have, a, have an ops meeting, and he's in there. I can show him how to model it, or I can model it for him. Okay. When do you think you might reach out? Well, it's, it's early in the week. I could uh, touch base with him by Wednesday uh, and look into the ops meeting uh, Friday um, for the uh, documentation discussion. Uh, then I'll see if, if we can make a suggestion uh, for the template then. Sounds great. Now, tell me what might get in your way. Actually, I'm a bit uneasy about offering this stuff up. I don't think he'll want my help. Okay, what makes you think that he wouldn't want help from you? He seems to be kind of a control freak. If he needs help, why doesn't he ask for it? Well, as a new lead, he probably doesn't even know that you're frustrated. But I don't want to show up and, and look like I'm telling him what to do or that I'm attacking his capability. I don't really know how to approach him. Well, it can be hard. But when you have a strong relationship with someone, it makes giving direct feedback a little easier. How is your relationship with Charles? Honestly. We haven't had a, a chance to connect. We don't talk much outside of meetings. Well, it sounds like to me that you don't really have a relationship with Charles. Might that be the real issue here? Yeah, I... I guess that would make things easier. Well, you're probably going to be working with him in the future on other projects. So why don't we talk about how you can improve your relationship with Charles. You've built relationships with other employees. What did you do in those situations? Charles is new. I was hired from outside the org. Okay. No, I, I've worked with other project managers for many years. We came up through the ranks together. So what are your thoughts on how to connect with Charles? I don't know. Well, with the others, uh, we had casual time together, coffee and stuff. I could start there. Okay, what are your ideas? Maybe I could offer to take him to lunch or for coffee and see how things are going for him. That sounds great. What else? Well, if that goes well, uh, I could ask for his thoughts on my ops meeting, then I guess I'm going to be more collaborative. That sounds great, but I want to make sure that you're successful. So let's take a couple more minutes and talk through what else you think might get in the way. I really don't think there's anything else. I'll think about it. Okay. You know, this is it's an ongoing process. I don't expect you to have an amazing relationship right out of the gate, but if you're committed to building a stronger relationship with Charles, then I think it'll be a win. Now, what do you think about this plan? I'm excited about the idea that the meetings will be more productive. I think I'll be less apt to get distracted or roll my eyes as well. I just hope it goes well. 
Well, in my experience, people surprise you. Why don't we try this out with Charles? And if you run into any issues, come back and talk to me and we can brainstorm how to deal with things on a case by case basis. Does that work? Yeah, I think that's doable. Okay. So let's recap everything because I want to make sure we have a clear understanding on what we've agreed on. Well, first, I would like to invite Charles to grab a cup of coffee with me uh, in the cafeteria. And then I'll ask for his input on my ops meeting. After that, I'd like to share my perspective on how these status meetings are going and share some of my ideas on how to make it better. Maybe the agenda templates first, and then the tracking of ideas and comments. And I need to be more aware of my behaviors when I'm frustrated. When do you think you can do this by? I'll go to Charles's desk after I leave here and I see if he's free for coffee. Okay. If he's not, uh, I'll try to plan a meeting uh, for us tomorrow. My office meeting is this Friday. I'll ask for his input. Then I'll look to give him feedback uh, for next month's status meetings. Maybe I can bring up the, the template then. I think you've got a really good plan in place. It all sounds great. I want to check in with you periodically just to see how things are going. Now, would you prefer to meet with me before the next status meeting to prepare, or would you rather meet afterwards to sort of debrief? I think I'd rather have a debrief with you after the status meeting. Okay. Then would you mind just shooting me an email and letting me know how your one-on-one -on -one with Charles goes? Um, if you need a face-to-face -face after that, we can do that as well. Okay. That sounds good. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Now, I think this will make a big difference in our project oh, and our future work also. I agree. Thank you for being open to the feedback and being willing to resolve this so quickly.